Right guys, I don't know if this is going to work because I'm on charge and recording at the same time. So bear with me. Right, I'm gonna, I've am just bought a new pan, as I said. Yeah, 2 .99, including the spatula. So let's give it a try. Let's put it on low. Warm it up. I've got my burger pate ready. Heats fast. Whoa, it heats really fast. Well, it's non-stick, as you can see. Look at that. Look at that burger. Better than that pan I used earlier. Just whack up a bit. Down a bit. Wow. Look at that. Look at that, guys. For a £2.99 frying pan, that's awesome. I couldn't do that on that white one I had earlier. Oops, I put the gas out. Wow, uh, I'm not kidding guys, this is for 2 99 this pan is absolutely awesome. Look how good that burger is. Yeah, and that's in how long? Two minutes? But it is, it's a really thin pan. So it's going to heat really quickly but the non stick on it wow that's brilliant there's no oil in that that is really good that's b ms 2.99 uh i'm not sure what brand it is um i don't know what brand it is uh let cook nine inch frying pan non stick coating and it's carbon carbon steel um I'll have to have a look online later and I'll uh, I'll have a look online later and I'll uh, oh this is magnificent Listen to that sizzle. This isn't going to burst into... This isn't going to burst into flames. And this spatula is actually better than I thought. Right, the red is actually chilli or... chilli or... tomato. I to think now. Ah, uh, I can't get the edge. <laughs> And the mint was £4.75 for the kilo. Um, and that was from Aldi.
Right. Normally, that would be swimming with oil. Yeah? From the meat. There's nothing. A lot. The non stick is really good. And that is a two ninety nine pound. Oh um subscribe to my website if you're in the Eamingham area definitely subscribe to my website over the weekend I may have some awesome news for the people of Birmingham. Right, let's see. Oh, yeah, another thing. This spatula, if you can see, this spatula, let me just move that back a bit. This spatula has got a stand on it. Yeah, so when you, when you put it on the side, it stands up. So that's not bad. Right, I'm just going to get some onions. <coughs> this time I won't get fired yet. So right, this time I won't set fire to the pan because it's only on really low as you can as you can see. Yeah, that has burnt at the bottom, but that's come straight off. Perfect. It's 
one of the lids from my other thing. I've got a bread knife here somewhere. There we go. That's my nice new shiny bread knife. Bread roll. Spin it. Yep. When it burns, it comes off real easy. If your pan starts to burn, put a bit of water in. Yeah, just a tad of water, and that will come straight up. I'm not putting any bread, uh, any, I'm not putting any butter on the bread roll. Anyone comments, oh you didn't put butter on your bread roll because there's enough grease and oil, juice, in the burger. Remember the burger's got mushroom, cheese, egg, Chili. Can you see the roll? Come back a bit. Can you see the roll? Yeah, you can see it. Burger. Put my lid on. Microfiber cloth. The pan. Yeah, just a quick. Yeah, that's clean. Whoa. And if it doesn't come clean for any reason, just do what I just did. Dip your microfiber in a little bit of water and anything that's stuck will come off. So, uh, for £2.99, I'm impressed. And it takes a lot for me to be impressed. All right. There's the burger. 
Get your steak knife. Give that a quick wipe, as I say. Never wash knives. Water blunt knives. Oh, here's the burger. See the juice? Right, I'm done. See you later. Enjoy.